everybody, today we are going to review prefixes using our exercise movements. And today our two movements are squats, and that is when you bend your knees and bend down kind of like you're sitting in a chair. And that will be the answer or the movement for yes. For the movement for no, you're going to do cross crawls. And remember that is when you take your right elbow and your left knee and they touch each other. Then you're going to use your left elbow and bring up your right knee and the two are going to touch and then you are going to alternate that movement. All right, so let's review prefixes. So remember a prefix is added to the beginning of a root word to change its meaning. Some examples of prefixes are pre, which means before, un, which means not or the opposite of, re, which means again, and dis, which also means not. And some examples of some root words that have had a prefix added on to make a new word. So some examples are preschool, which would be before school. So preschool is something that you go to before you start kindergarten. If we have the word happy and add the word un, that makes unhappy or you are not happy. Make, and we add the prefix to the beginning of make, and we make the word remake, which means to make again. In our last example, we have the root word honest, and we add the prefix dis, that makes a new word dishonest, and that means not honest. All right, so we're gonna get started with our mo movements. So does preschool mean before school? If you think yes, you are going to do squats. If you think no, you're going to do cross crawls. And again, make sure that you find a safe space to do these movements. So the answer is yes. Does preschool mean before school? Yes, because the prefix pre means before. Do the prefixes un and dis mean not? If you think yes, do squats. If you think no, do cross crawls. The answer is yes, both the prefixes un and dis mean not. Does remake mean before making? So you would be thinking, does that prefix re mean before? And the answer is no. The prefix re means again. So remake would mean to make again. Does unlikely mean likely? And the answer is no. Unlikely is the opposite of likely. So likely means something will probably happen, whereas unlikely means it will not happen. Remember the prefix un means not. Does rebuild mean to build again? If you think yes, do squats, no, do cross crawls. Does rebuild mean to build again? And the answer is yes. Remember re means again. So to rebuild something means to build again. Is agree the root word in disagree? Is agree the root word in disagree? So that means the prefix would have been added to the word agree. And the answer is yes. Agree is the root word in disagree. Dis is a prefix that was added to agree to mean that you do not agree with something. Do pre prefixes go at the end of a root word? Think about where do prefixes go on a root word. Is it the beginning or the end? And the answer is no. Prefixes do not go at the end of a root word. That would be a suffix. Remember, prefixes go at the beginning. And a way to remember that is the word, per, or the prefix pre, and prefixes means before, so before the word. Can you give an example of a word with a prefix? 
if you can, just go ahead and shout them out into the air. Or if you have other examples of prefixes, that is awesome too. So thanks again for doing these movement activities with me reviewing prefixes. This was a video from Learning with Emerson and Tunes. Keep up the hard work.